if-else loop is a programming construct that allows a robot to choose between one of two actions based on the truth of a given condition. It works like this. First we define a condition, like say, the weather is nice. Now, if the weather is nice, the kids will play outside. If not, they will play inside. The kids make a choice as to whether they play inside or outside based on the condition, the weather. It's the same in our program. Only instead of nice weather, the condition is something else, like a sensor value. So we could say, if the limit switch is pressed, the robot will drive forward. If the limit switch is released, the robot will drive backward. The robot makes a decision about which direction to drive based on the truth of the condition. So if the condition is true, one thing happens. If it is anything else, like untrue, another thing happens instead. To get the if-else loop to repeat itself without ending the program, we need to place it inside a while loop in which the condition is always true. This will cause the if-else loop to start over and continue to operate until we manually terminate the program. To see more about while loops, watch the video about them in the Vex Robotics playlist. If-else loops are found in the function library under C constructs and if statements. The if-else loop is the last one in the menu. We drag this function into our task main. First we must set the condition. In this example, the condition is that both limit switches must be pressed. If it is true that both limit switches are pressed, the robot will drive forward. If anything else is true, the robot will drive backward for one second, turn around by rotating its motors in opposite directions for four seconds, and stop. Once it's completed the else portion of its loop, it will check the truth of the condition once again, and if it is true, it will drive forward again.